What's up? What's up? What's up, you guys? What's up? How you doing today? Just getting more ready. Hope you're having a great, growing, blessed, and prosperous day. I'm here with a video, visual, a visual video. Okay, okay. Thank you so much for being here. If you're new to my channel, click like and subscribe. Leave a thumbs up. Thumbs down. Just how to do middle fingers. Okay, okay. Thank you so much. Also, slide on over to my Facebook group, Guardian with Skinny Boy Randy, where beginners and experts are welcome over there. Let them know I sent you from over here on YouTube. Okay, okay. Today, I just wanted to make a quick video, keeping it under five minutes on how you can protect your garden from those cabbage butterflies cabbage moths whatever you want to call them they just call cabbage eaters in my book and what we're trying to do is protect our broccoli our leafy greens and um all of our leafy greens from these cabbage moths and what they look like are white little butterflies i just saw a few around and you want to make sure you have your plants covered you guys every day all day because they will destroy and you will get discouraged. It has happened. And we ain't got time for that. We ain't got time to be going to the store and being discouraged asking what we supposed to do to keep from falling out. But yes, you guys, what I'm going to do is take some cheap sheer material. You can get this from any local fabric store. You can order it online, uh, wherever you choose to get it from. And it's just a thin sheer material. Okay. And what you want to do is just gently unravel it. Like so. And it's already double folded. And you can use your fingers to tear it apart. Just like that, but uh, Princeton took a hold of it. And then you just want to gently cover all your leafy greens, you guys. Because the cabbage moth is flying around laying white little tiny eggs. And I've already went through each plant and removed all the eggs that I could find anyway off of the plants. And I've watered them this morning. So you want to go ahead and get your watering done and then gently cover and just prop up with a brick or whatever you have. You can just use a stick and prop it down in the ground. As long as the butterflies can't penetrate it and this is sheer enough, they can't get through. And they'll just keep moving on. Okay? And you're not uh, stunting the growth or anything or preventing the sun from getting to it. You're just keeping the malt from getting to it. Just like that, you guys. Oop. My brick wasn't tall enough. I just did it on top. Just like that. And then, as you can see, any moths cannot get through this yeah even if you have a little space like this not secure they're not going to fly up and over because they're going to damage their wings you just want to cover your leafy greens now i'm going to go and do the same thing over here with our lettuces and yeah and call it a day hope you guys are having a great growing blessed and prosperous day remember live love laugh you guys grow stuff and eat it you're the best